started off in February 2011 and uh, we started preparations. This site was given us and we had to update, I mean upgrade this site and renovate it. We do have a permanent site which is adjacent to the golf course where most of the major buildings from now on will be uh, constructed. Uh, we are now on the first semester, in the first semester of 2011-2012 session, which will end at about the end of March 2013. Then we'll take on the next set that have already been admitted, and they will end around September. By that time, we'll be able to fit into the normal school calendar for Nigeria. The programs we offer here are in arts and uh, social science and science. We have mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, history, economics, visual arts, um, sociology, political science, and uh, economics. Interestingly, most of the students, when we did a little survey, opted to become politicians. Wow. That's About 90 something percent. They want to be politicians. Yes. Wow. I don't know why that is so. <laughs> anyway, here we want to, our core values are integrity, excellence, and innovation. We've already proven the innovation bit because we were third overall in Nigeria during the research fair. And we also won some other prizes there. You were third in Nigeria? Third, yes. Wow. National. Yeah. Although many universities couldn't come because of the flood, but still we were third. And we won second place in, uh, first place in visual arts. Second place in visual arts and second in science. We do have our plates, that's one of them. So, for the excellence, you can see for yourself, we want to aim high, make sure that the students are comfortable, they are, the instruction is not off, you know, ad, ad, ad hoc. Lectures are prepared and posted on our website and the students can copy their lectures. Um, we want to go beyond beyond training the students in their disciplines. We want to equip them with life skills and entrepreneurial skills so that they will be employable and they will be able to create jobs after their training. We have tried to attract quality staff and we are still looking out for the top cadre staff like professors and so on. In future, we will mount other programs that will be relevant to the needs of the immediate environment. We know there, is, there are lots of uh, natural resources, mineral resources, so we intend to mount something in geology and mining, and also something in the health area. And uh, maybe creative, sorry, media and media studies. And uh, there is one department, theatre and media studies, later in the second phase. What about your permanent site? Our permanent site, we are, We've done the first phase of the environmental impact assessment because without that we cannot put anything down there. So we've done the first phase. Second phase will be during the dry season, that's in January. So at the end of January, we would have gotten that approval. But the master plan is almost ready. We're doing other surveys, geosurveys, geophysical surveys. So naturally, the architect should be talking on this one. I think I can handle it a little bit. So when all those are completed, um, the structures will be on, but I think we will get a waiver to start building in one part of it. We've already applied for the waiver since July, so maybe the minister can whisper to the minister. Let's see. Right. And we are still waiting for that waiver. Thank you. Students of Federal University. Okay. Oh. <laughs> University of Latvia. Let me first of all appreciate you just coming to the university for the first time uh, to take a look at how you are taking off. We are going to get a briefing from the Vice Chancellor about the efforts being made to provide facilities for this university. We know that this is not your permanent site. Some work should still start at the permanent site for the process of implement for the construction of the first set of buildings virtually has been completed at the Federal Ministry of Information I mean Education. So you are the first set of students, and so you are the history makers. The history of this university will be mentioned in the future. You will be the first set of pioneers. 
the you know the responsibility of our nears? Yes, sir. It means that we must work hard to establish standards that other future generations of students and scholars will pass to this university. If you don't work hard and set that, those standards, it is very difficult for the future generation of students coming here to have a compass to follow. And so you must give this university its first name so that by the time you are graduating, we want you to compare favorably with the students of Ibadan, yes. Ife, yes. Joss, Zaria, Calabar, and other great universities. Yes. Let me caution you for the stories we have had in the campuses since about the late 80s is that of courtism. Courtism is such a big shame such a big shame that we are students in Russia, Japan, America are experimenting how to go to the moon, how to conquer space, how to build aeroplanes. They are using models, how they will build engines, build other things, build great economies. We still have people in our universities that go about with human skulls, go about with rituals. It's a big shame. We must overcome that. We don't want this university to have any trace of such ugly development. Amen. So as pioneers, you must root them out. You must root them out. It's so shameful, really, for us as a nation to have our children not following God, not following scholarship. So if there are those of them among you that have those traces, please, as I come into this university, I ask you to cast it out right now so that you don't even be mentioned. Amen. 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 So worship God, no matter your religion, but not courtism and rituals. Those who take you back to the dark ages. We want Nigeria to be a modern nation. That's why we're establishing these universities. So that you will build a nation for future generations. Thank you very much. God bless you. The Dean of uh, Science is representing at the Budget Defense Management. The writing test. Yes. Have they started? They are here to start. Okay. Make me with them good luck before they, before they start. Sorry. <laughs> He wants to wish you good luck in this year. What class? Physics 101, heat and thermodynamics. Heat and thermodynamics. I will need a lecture on heat in Latvia. Well, let me uh, first of all appreciate you for uh, being the pioneers for this great university. I just told the economics class here that you are the history makers. When the history of this university will be written in the next 100 years, it will be the first set of students. So it means that you must set the standards for others to follow. So you have to work very hard. And I hope that in this physics class, we have the Albert Einstein's who will design the next rockets. Yeah? It's very, very important. So you have to work very hard for the country by studying very hard and by avoiding what we see in some other universities, which is courtism. You know, science and courtism do not meet at all. They are parallel lines. We want to bring up scientists, not ritualists. Eh? Not ritualists, not uh, idol worshippers. So your class must provide a compass for the development of the country. You know, the road up is discipline and hard work. Don't cut corners. If you cut corners, you will never be a great scholar. So the future is for those who are prepared to move inch by inch, work hard, study hard, and then all other things will be given unto you. So do your best. Don't disappoint your parents. Don't disappoint the president. Don't disappoint Nigeria. God bless you and I wish you good luck.
particle. For now, we have this the equipment here that we are using. This very one is a cube carbon. Where are we prepared? Uh, we will take yeah, us through that lecture. Sorry. That's <laughs> described generally. We have our cube carbon there yeah. and uh, some bone and uh, ink bed. We do some of our nitrations here as well. There is a microscope where we show our students some micro um, Thanks. So. We have to fix this lab separately from the not. Usually it also starts the university or any institution make a huge sacrifice. And they need that the sacrifice you are making for the future of this university. And history will remember you, the nation will remember you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I son of Israel, you are very familiar with the peaceful and hospitality nature of the state. So you are very aware that before the approval and the starting of this university to Nasara State, this block we've just inspected belonged to Nasara State. And it used to house two ministries and about five MDGs. But the appreciation of the worthiness of awarding this, uh, giving out this for the checkup of the university, His Excellency the Governor of Nasara State approved the release of the structure in, in entirely to the, for the checkup of the university. In addition to that, Your Excellency, His Excellency approved and secured 305 hectares of land for permanent site to the university. Thank you, sir. Well, um, uh, first of all, on behalf of the National Good Governance uh, Tour Team, let me say that we're delighted to visit uh, the University of Lafia. Uh, very, very delighted because we are part of its history. And uh, when this university was announced, well, it was approved along with uh, eight others, um, I made an announcement to the nation. Uh, in the Federal Executive Council. Uh, this university is um, perhaps the greatest project the President and this administration have located in Astral State. Because a university, I can't think of any other thing that we will do here eventually over time that will be as important to the development of our people and Nigeria as the location of a federal university. We want to also sincerely appreciate the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ekanem. We know who she has been all along, a thorough a scholar, academic, and university administrator. Very serious minded. And uh, this, is, uh, this is not 35%, this is pure merit. <laughs> this, this, this is pure merit. She beat other men for the job. So that is what it is. Uh, in this place. And she, she came, we have seen a lot of progress, the rapid way she moved to this side, and you can see the structures, she has reorganized the structures of the, this used to be the first secretariat uh, for Nasrawa State, built under Wilcom and uh, Abdullah Ibrahim. And uh, so when we came to Latvia in 1999 as commissioner, uh, when democracy took off, most of the ministries were located here before we started building additional structures uh, where they are now. So we want to thank the state government for releasing uh, this structure to the university to take off. Uh, usually federal universities uh, must have the sacrifice from state government. I know how many states we beat to have this university. And I know the effort we made to ensure that natural state was in the first set uh, of the universities uh, for the remaining states that don't have the university. So we thank Mr. President for the generosity and uh, we thank the state government for their cooperation and we thank the university. I'm beginning to see most of the scholars who will give the foundation for the university here. The dean, social sciences, the dean, uh, faculty of us are from, all from my uh, former alma mater, the University of Joss. And Joss is also a very, very established place and we expect Joss to support this university with further training of our staff. Uh, I want to thank you people for relocating from established universities to make a sacrifice here. Because a lot of sacrifice to start a university. Because you don't have the facilities that you left behind. And we are starting everything from the scratch. I really want to thank you for this sacrifice. And I'm sure history will remember you and the country will not forget you. Thank you very much indeed. Congrats, BC. Yes, I want to thank the team also led by the minister uh, for coming to visit us. Uh, this is a very important day for us because uh, we don't normally have this 
uh, and practices of uh, activity. So we are very grateful that you have come to see what we're doing. And we also count on you for future guidance and support as we strive to achieve the vision which we have set for this great university. Thank you all. Creative arts. The artist asked that we give it to the minister. I don't know, where is it? Somebody, somebody should bring it. Uh -huh. One of them. Uh -huh. So he says it is called... Where is the artist? What's the name? It's written away. Something has fallen off. No. Uh -huh. Bring it. He says it's for your office. So this was one of the... Okay. This is made from firewood, from wood that is thrown away, all the, the debris of time. Okay, he has written a poem in it. So we'll give this with the poem. But I'll send this poem into your email so that you have it coming. So this will be... Does he have a replica? A replica? For... Does he have a replica of this artwork? Where is the artist? Does he have another one like this? No, he doesn't have one now, but it can be made. Yeah, I, 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 I appreciate this uh, gift, but I think it should make it through for the university. Uh, this is something that should be preserved, because this is uh, one of the first thing, exhibitions you have made as a university, and I've been rated to be the best. And I'm sure that if it is here, maybe it will be in the university museum. No, no, no. no, it's not like that. We have a number of us. I think so. This goes with you today. Boy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Erasmus, Erasmus, she's a lecturer in visual arts. Are you the artist? Yes. Great. Yes. 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 Okay, I titled it February of Time. I want to explore here the effects of time on human life. Because time is at the epicenter of human experience. It governs us. We are slaves to time. It works when we are sleeping. It's agile when we are not agile. So here, I use the anti-infested fagot to talk about the fragility of human life. You are young today. You could be old tomorrow. We will wear out just like um, firewood. So but all, the time is always young. That's why every part of the work seems dark, but the part that has light, the clock, in which is the time, is always young. That's how time is at the center of human experience. So like Maria Mapa says, that nature defies time and takes it to the age of man. So the part of it is like these um, tongues and the rough edges of wood. Like uh, Maria Mapa these days, that the part of earth is not smooth, one is usually bruised by its sharp edges. So this talks about the effect of time on human life. Maria Mamba being the author of so long a letter. Yes. I'd just like to know if you've left your signature on this work. Yes. Have you worked Yes, yes. my signature will be right. Okay, brilliant. Yes. Okay. Well done. I, 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 I was really feeling that this should be preserved no, in the no, university. No, no, no. As uh, a history, you know I'm a historian. <laughs> I always like to see that maybe in another 10, 15 years, uh, this work will be shown to future students as uh, one of the first prizes that was won in the department. Well, that's it's what not this work alone yes. that won the prize. Okay. It's a collection a of many works. Okay, fine. So, so we insist that... I appreciate uh, it. We insist that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you take it to the side. It's okay.